my excuses for the terrible sound, but I have a severe cold at the moment. Hello world, welcome to this Aftershocks Aeropex real world test. I have used music on my motorbike since my second motorbike, a Honda CB404, where I fitted a small compact cassette player and two speakers. The gear, the Aftershocks Aeropex bone conductor headphones. The Garmin Sumo XT. iPhone 12 Pro. The Nolan Encom. And of course the KTM 1190 Adventure R 2014. Here we just pair the Bluetooth as normal. I need to get some fuel. The devices are connected and of course you can't change your volume. That's with every Bluetooth device the same. You have to set the volume on your iPhone. They were quite comfortable in a jet helmet, but I think they might be a little bit problematic in a full face helmet, but that you have to try yourself. Well, let's see if I got some Genesis on the road.
turning on the highway with 70 miles an hour, I still have sound. It's not hi-fi, but I can enjoy my music. The KTM is still an amazing bike, but even better with music. Because I've borrowed the aftershocks for this test, I have to return them to the rightful owner. But be assured, I have ordered my set myself. As I said, it's a choice between normal sound, which you can hear, or hi-fi, which you can't hear. That's all up to you. I have returned the aftershocks, so now I have to work with my own Bluetooth, and then you will hear the difference. It's very soft, it's good, but as soon as you get a little bit speed, the fun is over. So I think aftershocks is next. 